A 56 to zero defeat may leave many Purdue fans on a sour note, but the unity between the two bands at the end of the game played to a different tune. Uh, we have great respect for Ohio State. They were wonderful hosts to us last year when we brought our band to Ohio Stadium, and we're very glad that uh, that John Waters wanted to bring his band here to Purdue. And we just we know that any time that the Ohio State band and the Purdue band appear on the same field, it's going to be a spectacular series of halftime shows. I, I Purdue, that was a good performance. I actually really enjoyed it. I'm a Star Wars fan. It was pretty good. And they got the big drone thing going for them. But Ohio State's band is pretty good. I, I would say the band should have a competition beside outside of football, like just a one on one. And it would be interesting to see how it goes. But, but the band members say their performances aren't really about beating the other bands. We're all friends through music. Um, it's fun to like encourage each other and to see what the other, other band is bringing to the table. And uh, it's constantly just uh, a shock and awe from, from all the programs we see. It's just fun to see the different styles and, and what they bring to the table and to the field and to their fans. And the fans are more than happy to receive it as Boilermakers and Buckeyes alike cheered on both halftime performances. Ohio State's band changed up last weekend's performance to show T-Rex eating Purdue's big rival, the Indiana Hoosier. Ohio State used an opportunity to get a dig on Indiana in their show too, and I know our fans here at Ross Aid really appreciated that. In appreciation for tradition as well as Carmen, Ohio played throughout Ross Aid Stadium. And a slight deviation from tradition as the Buckeyes celebrate their 21st straight win this season. For Buckeye TV, I'm Asia Gore.